Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to do incremental load using store procedure in SQL Server. So in general, when we want to do any incremental load activity in SQL Server, we can use match statement in SQL Server. Whereas by using SSIS also, we can do incremental load. Lookup transformation and SCD. SCD is nothing but slowly changing dimensions and CDC is changed data capture. So by using these four ways, we can do incremental load into SQL Server tables. First one is only on merge statement using in SQL Server. These three are using an SSIS component. Okay. Now I will show how to load the data using store procedures. So I am going to write a store procedure. Inside the store procedure, I insert the match statement to execute the incremental load. First, I will show my two tables. So here I have MP1 and MP2. I am considering this MP1 as source table, this one as target table. So in source table, that is MP1, I have five columns, whereas in the target table, I have two columns. So 11 ID is there, 13 also there in the term target table. We don't have ID number 12, 14 and 15. At the same time, you see the value of the course is differ from source to destination. So in destination it is Java, in source it is the JSON. So after executing the store procedure, both these tables MP1 and MP2 should be similar with the values and data as well. Okay, so I, I will write, a, I, I will show how to create a store procedure inside make statement, create proper procedure, incremental loading. This is my procedure name as begin and end, I am writing my match statement. Merge into target table. What is the target table here? MP1. Sorry, MP2. MP2. I am giving alias name as T. Using these are the keywords in my statement. Merge into your target table using source table. What is the source table name? MP1. As Yes. So on condition, I am writing t dot id is equal to s dot id in on condition because both tables have same schema and same columns and same structure. So when matched m e t c h a d matched, then update. Set when matched, then update set t dot id is equal to s dot id. When not matched by target, this by this is your second statement. When not matched by target, then insert. Insert all values here. Insert ID name comma course values s dot id comma s dot name comma s dot course. So here we, we observed the difference in the for the 11th record for between source and destination. So we need to add here after ID t dot course t dot course is equal to s dot course. Okay. And store procedure inside that match statement. So I am executing the procedure. So store procedure created successfully. Now 
if I execute the statement here with the, the keyword, the both of the tables are the, will be the same. So once again, make sure I'm running the uh, tables. We have five columns in the source and two columns in the target table. So for 11th ID, there is a difference in the course name. So now I'm executing the procedure. So five rows are affected. And again, I'm execute the two cell statements here. See here, JSON, and which is changed in target table as JSON. And four more new records are also inserted into target table. Now data is the same for both source and target. So this is how you need to create your procedure and inside that you frame your memory statement to get the incremental load into the destination table. Thanks.